Danny. Morning, Jess. And of course, Jealous Pixie. Morning, Pixie. Just checking on the screed that me and Tom done yesterday. It's starting to go hard, yep, brilliant. Well, yeah, we've now got a solid floor in our open barn. It won't be open for much longer. Going to build out a canopy on the front and then close this in so it's sort of weather tight inside. Yeah, we've got a great project for this. Now I did do a behind the scenes video for this for Patreons only so head on over to the Patreon and join up if you haven't already to support the channel. Plenty of great uh, content and you know behind the scenes stuff there. Right, let's get back in today's video. Mm. Let's address the window. And as always a curious pair of eyes. If not one, two lots. <laughs> Don't know what she's looking at, something she's found. Always so curious. So the window is in, the next stage is to seal the outside, paint it, a little bit of making good down each side, not sure whether I'm going to cement the top or put an extra piece of timber over that part there, I'm not quite sure yet. Oh, here comes Jealous, any attention shown to one of them, he's soon to be along. So I'm going to take advantage of this beautiful day. It's not raining for a change. So we get the lime mortar around the window, we get it painted as well, and we move on to our next job. Lots of jobs to do today. anything else with it I'll let it just start to set before I can touch it again because if I keep moving it now it will just start bellying out and falling out of the gap so let it start setting and then strike it in a little bit harder with either a, a paintbrush or a trowel. Well, I'm going to attempt to do the, the top bit now I don't think it's going to hold but you never know sometimes if you get the consistency of the mortar just right it will stick in there but yeah it's a bit of a shallow and wide opening so it might be that I put a nice little piece of wood across there and paint it. It's not going to get much weather up the top there but it still needs to be covered. So I'm going to try popping a few screws in the timber work at the top just so it holds the mortar once I put it on there. It's not much of a gap there to play about with really but if I can get some mortar in there yeah that'd be That'd be great if not i'll seal it up and then put some timber over and paint it but either way i would like to give this a go i wouldn't normally do this but it's going to be not really exposed to the weather and it's going to be behind the cement so always a bit no, dubious about screwing into windows, making extra holes. Don't do it if you if you possibly can. Although this isn't into the window, this bit, it's uh, into the batten. Well, that definitely seemed to do the trick. I've got it in there. I'm not going to mess about with it because I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to let it, you know, turn a little bit, start to cure a little bit, 
and then we'll just smooth it off. But it's in now, that's the main thing. Is there any signs of growth yet? I doubt it. Not been in long enough. Like I mentioned before, I'm not overly concerned if it doesn't grow. It'd be nice if it does, and I dare say quite a few of them will, but it's more about making the structure. I mean, I can grow things around it. Lots of you have said sweet pea, other climbers like jasmine, honeysuckle. I'm going to continue on this for a little while. Um, we've got some weeds popping up in the ground. I've got some bark to go down. I need to cut some more of these with these whips, whatever you want to call them, to continue the other side. And then, uh, yeah, we'll look at other options. Sam doesn't like the idea of having any plastic up there. I said, well, it's only what's lying about. You know, the best use for plastic is to use it, you know, instead of recycling it. So it's only just going to go on the top part, but we'll see about that. I'm still going to get some um, rolled up split bamboo or hazel go across the top, check out the video when I'm constructing this and I'll talk a bit more in depth about it there. So we're going to get some more of these. Um, running a bit low on stock to be honest with you. The actual pieces I need, but I've got another supply somewhere so I might have to go and get those as well. It's one of them views that you never get tired of. It always seems to change no matter how many times I look at it, every time looks different. Different times of the year. Spring's lovely. All the seasons are lovely really when you look at with different eyes at things. Yeah, we all want to see the back of winter but it's necessary. I do like the changing seasons here. Makes you look forward to the next one coming. I couldn't live somewhere constantly cold, constantly hot, not for me. So I think as far as the floor goes, we'll maybe get some cardboard to suppress all these shoots. And then I've got some wood chip to go on top. I do like to use what I've got lying about, so if it does mean using a little bit of plastic here and there, what I've already got, then, well, I think that's the best use of it, really. It's been made already. Let's use it. I have got a small stash of tiles there. Slates that come off the barn. They're no longer any good to go on a roof. They're too worn, but what you can do with those, put them down, crush them up, smash them up, put them for a cement mixer or something and then use them as your path for a hard standing. So that's one option. And that reminds me for the barn floor, the screed that we laid, it was a dry screed, so I have to hose it down. Now and again, just a light, don't want it drying out too quick, so remind me I've got to do that shortly, with that little hose down. Let's just check to see whether I've got enough wood chip to do the job. Oh, let's have a look at these. Sam said these were looking really nice. Purple sprouting broccoli. We've been eating these. Oh yeah, that's a lovely head there. Should be having that for our Sunday roast. Cow, yeah. Needs a bit of a tidy up here, but well, while I'm over this way, let's have a quick look at those trees I planted the other day. Wow, yeah. Certainly coming in the bud. Yeah, that's lovely that one. And of course our almond. It seems to be doing well. Whether or not we get any this year, we'll see. Now the pond will be coming into its own very, very shortly. The water is absolutely crystal clear. It's got a lot of growth in there, but it is a natural pond. There's no fish in there. Frogs, dragonfly nymphs in there, newts. Oh, and of course the lilies, once they come up, they're beautiful. We'll be keeping a closer eye on this and hopefully Freddy the Frog will return. Not heard of him for a little while, but we won't write him off just yet. Yeah, I think there's enough there. Maybe I'll use the slate and this. Maybe sort of by where the bench is, some slate, crushed slate, and a little path, and then this either side. Yeah, just use what you got. Keeps the cost down. Okay, I'm also on the hunt for me secateurs, me little pruners. Let's check in here. Oh, those lettuces Tom planted are yeah, really coming up. 
Yeah, we'll be eating him soon. Oh, what else he got here? So he comes out here late in the evening, just beavers away. Once I check up on him a few days later, I think, wow. What's he got in there? I'll have to ask him what they are. That was from last year. That's come up again, the parsley. It's brilliant. Let's check on the potatoes. See potatoes, they're not really sprouting much. They seem to be spraying more than the ones outside. Chitting. Yeah, you look, you know, you put them in here, expose them to daylight. They send up little shoots, you rub well, it's a bit controversial really. Some people leave just one little sort of shoot on it. Some people leave them all on there, but I'll try a mixture of both. See what happens. So these won't be going in until April, so we've got a little time yet. Okay, right, back to the job in hand. Pruners, where are you? Okay, while well, I think where I've put them, I'll get another job out of the way, I'll lightly spray down the, uh, the floor in the barn. While I'm doing that, it'll probably come to me where I put them down. The trouble is we all use them, Sam and Tom and that, so we all put them down in different places. Can't think what I've done with them pruners. Uh, right, let's think logically. Last time I used them was here. Penny's just dropped. Where would I have put them? It was raining in the caravan. There's a few other things in there that I've put and <laughs> can't find. I bet they're in there and all. Okay, Edward scissor hands. Let's get pruning. And the trouble is, there's not much suitable material here. It's all pretty short. Got a few that I can use, like these. And just sort of cut the bases off at 45. Trim up most of the side shoots. We'll cut the ends once we've got them in situ. Okay. I might have to go back down the dell. Certainly got enough to get started. And of course the most important thing with these outdoor projects is the wildlife. You can't disturb wildlife, you know, especially if they start nesting. Don't want to be cutting trees about then. Not fair. literally you know as rustic as that just weave them in have fun with it I'd have a little bit more fun if I knew where I'd put my string but I've got a feeling I used it all last time so we're just going to get them all pushed into the ground twine them around each other maybe use these thinner pieces they're flexible to tie tie some together isn't that done yep that works it may be what we will do this year is maybe grow some fast growing sweet peas. I know Sam likes sweet pea and some other things around it till it gets established. Any ideas, any comments, any suggestions what we could grow?
So just building the framework really and just weaving the thinner bits in between. You soon get there with it. I don't mind that this side is a slightly different construction. I like to use what I've got. So bigger ones for the cross pieces and maybe the thinner ones at 45 and vertical. Once it's all grown together you won't notice a difference. The area to the front of the den, I'm going to put some hard landscaping down. It's going to be terraced in several levels and there will be like a, a ruin type wall. So it looks like, you know, there's been a building there, which there was originally. Before I can go any further on this, I need to go and get some more sticks. So I'm going to do that a little bit later on. Let's go back, check out, see how the wind is looking. Well. Yep, it's held. Cats have kept a close eye on it. So what we do now, we'll just lightly go up there and firm it in with the trowel. And then once it starts drying, we'll just feather off the edges, maybe with a brush, to blend it in nice. Yep, just found a new scratch post, the window. by giving it a few hours it allows you to work it a little bit better once you put it in it's still sort of fresh and wet the more you move it it'll just belly and sink once it starts setting curing it kind of holds itself a little bit better so it gives you an opportunity afterwards just to smooth it off so nicely trailed off just go over that with a brush just before it finally sets. It will colour down. Yeah, please with that. 100% watertight. Yeah, there's the other one. <laughs> it's not normally far behind. Anyone's getting attention, he wants in on it. <laughs> I think the other one's sound asleep. It's a little bit more laid back than these two. Live wires. They all get on so well together. That's why we didn't separate them. Uh, he says that as they start fighting. But they don't really. They do a little bit, then they start licking each other. They all sleep together, they all cuddle each other up. You know, it's amazing. A little brush down. It's an old wire brush off, off the stonework. We'll give the window frame a light rub down and then several top coats. And that should be it for, well, a couple of years at least. The most important thing with these windows, these holes here, do not fill them. If you're not familiar with these windows, they're drainage holes, so any water that gets trapped inside allows to drain out the front so don't block them up you'll ruin your windows in no time because they'll just rot ah before I forget there we go yes lovely thank you very much Carlson he sent me this he's a buy me a coffee member so is his dad and his dad's a fireman very proud as well, so rightfully so, Carson. And this is a beautiful badge that he sent us. Thank you very much, Carson. It's very kind of you, and I do appreciate that. Yeah, we shall take good care of it. I might even ask Sam to stitch it onto one of my jumpers. So, yeah, thank you very much, Carson. Much appreciated. Okay, that is it for this video. Thanks for joining us. See you all in the next one. Bye for now.